Thank you for joining us on How to Pearl for Absolute Beginners. Make sure to stop by our blog for a more detailed tutorial. Stay tuned to this channel and subscribe down below. We are getting ready for a really fun sampler stitch project and we really want to make it available for all experience levels to join in the fun. So far we have covered how to cast on with the long tail cast on, how to knit, and today how to purl. To get started we cast on 10 stitches using the long tail cast on method and then we knit one row of knits. So now we're working on the pearls. Pearls are really easy to identify because at the base of the loop you see a little bump and it looks like a pearl. You can see here where the knit stitches are looped around and the back of the loop is what makes the pearl. We're going to start our first purl stitch by moving our needle behind the yarn. We're going to use the same rhyming technique as we did in the knit stitch to remember how to purl. The rhyme goes like this. In through the rabbit hole, round the back of the tree, up through the rabbit hole, and off goes she. We're going to start with in through the rabbit hole. With the yarn in front, move the working needle from behind the yarn and insert it in the loop on the needle that is holding the stitches from the cast on or from the previous row. Next step is around the back of the tree. Wrap the yarn counterclockwise around the working needle. Up through the rabbit hole, slide your working needle from the front of the needle that holds your cast on stitches underneath to the back side and off goes she. Slide the loop off of the needle that holds the cast on stitches or the stitches from the previous row. Now let's take a look at a few more purl stitches. Now that you've learned how to make a knit stitch and how to make a purl stitch, we want to discuss identifying a knit stitch and a purl stitch in your work. It's really important to be able to look at your work and see where you're at in your pattern or see what you've already made. That way when you pick it up again, you know right where you left off. As we discussed earlier, the knit stitch and the purl stitch are essentially two sides of the same coin. If you knit on one side of your fabric, it will always show up as a purl on the other side. As you get comfortable doing the knit stitch and the purl stitch, it's a good idea to knit a swatch and start playing with the loops and the stitches on your needles. It gives you a better idea of how those stitches are formed together. Here we have our purl side. And I'm just going to purl a few stitches here. And then we're going to take apart those stitches and see how they're formed. Remember, always move from the back and keep your yarn in front. So now I'm going to take my trusty hook and remove one of the stitches off of my needle. I'm going to remove it off of the needle that's holding my previous row. So as you can see, as I pull out stitches, they're coming, I'm pulling out from behind, not out from in front.
And when I pick them up, I'm gonna pick them up the same way. Notice how the yarn, when I pick it up, is in front of the loop. Also notice how the loop goes back on the needle. If you put the loop on the needle wrong, it's going to twist your stitches. Let's finish our row of the purl stitch. And now we have this really nice purled fabric. On this side, and some nice knit fabric. Thank you for joining us on how to purl fret beginners. Make sure to subscribe to all of our social media profiles and happy crafting.